Here at Air Accessories in Sheffield, they thought they were making a luxury investment. Turns out it's transformed their business. Nick, it's a pleasure to meet you. And before we find out about what you've invested in, I want to know about you and your company. What is it you're producing here? Okay, so, so the company started in 1967. And the, the, the aim was to put engineering into pneumatics. We, we were always playing pneumatics. And Jack John, that started the business, saw an opportunity to become more involved as an engineer and produce products that weren't normally available. And you're a wholesale company, is that correct? You've got a catalogue, but you realise that you needed to go out there, diversify, and actually make bring a little bit more of that profit in-house. Yeah, the, we do offer a catalogue. We offer most products pneumatically, hydraulically, that most other companies offer. So although it's been a bit of a luxury purchase, it's actually paying dividends now because we've got some repeatability. However, there's a lot of companies out there doing what we do, so we needed to find it a bit of a niche and capitalise on the engineering side of the business. Yes, so we've come into the facility and I'm with Clive, who is the CNC programmer around here. Clive, you had a huge influence over the purchase of the machine. Yeah. What were the variables? Why did you say, yeah, this is why XYZ is the one um, for us? We got XYZ to come in. We told them what we wanted to achieve from the machine, what we were hoping to get out of it, um, and they were just they ticked all the boxes for us. They were well within our price bracket, what we wanted to spend. So yeah, they just they ticked all the boxes for us. So when you said your price bracket, they gave you a figure, but how did they calculate that for you? How can you work it out with your business? It was more down to lead times and what it would cost per part for us to make. Whereas on our previous machines, it was not cost efficient for us to do. We were spending more time on the machine doing the job than what we were actually gaining from it and what we were getting paid for it. It was. It made more sense on a CNC of this calibre. We were making more money in, in profit because of how fast it was actually doing the job compared okay. to previous. So talk us through why you have chosen, you know, and how's it worked for you from a machinist's point of view and your perspective? Yeah, it's been a massive jump for us from what we had previous. Just having the automatic tool change, for instance, the old machine was one tool at a time which was changed manually. This is a 12 station, Plus you've got extra tools that you can save within the machine and load in as you please. So it's, it's a case of programming, shut the door, press go, and you don't need to worry about it. Whereas the old machine, we were constantly, you had to be by, beside the machine, changing the tools every time it stopped. And because this now runs automated on its own, I can be at another area or on the CNC lathe and doing jobs in that sense while this is running. And so I guess per cost per part, you're not seeing those benefits as well. They're going to give you a cost per part, but you're kind of forgetting the fact that you can just walk away and work on another yeah, machine. Yeah, it frees me up to do other things in the factory now. It's because I don't just do the machine and I cover other areas and stuff. So it, it frees the manpower up to do other things as, while this is running. So it's making money without us being next to it. It's quite interesting. We've, not, we've probably discussed that, but hearing that firsthand is very interesting. Now, this is an example of one of the yeah. parts that you're making. Yeah, this is a, a bespoke end cap that we make for one of our customers. Uh, this was all to their customer requirement. This was a cylinder they needed for a certain specific type of job that they can't buy on the market. So they came to us with a spec and this is what we designed for them and made for them. So, so Talk us through exactly some of the machining that you're doing because you've got an, a, a thread within there yeah, as well. So this, this was basically just a solid black of aluminium that we've put in. We've profiled around the outsides to get a finish. We've then put pockets in for the barrel to sit in for the tubing. We've put the holes in that tick the glands and the seals for the piston rods. And then we've put the holes in the end and threaded those for the ports for the air to flow through the cylinder. And the surface finish on this looks amazing. Yeah, that was another big reason into us buying a new machine. For instance, we do a job for a customer that in the past we did out of aluminium blocks and we didn't machine the outsides or the faces, we just put the holes in purely because of the cost efficient, it just wasn't cost efficient for us to do, it took too long. Whereas the new machine, we can machine all the outside, we can put finishes on, and it's a third of the time that it was on the old machine, so. Do you enjoy using the CNC machines? You know, what, yeah, what do you, you, you tell, tell us what, how you, or why you love a CNC over a manual? Yeah, it's, it's more the technology side of it, rather than doing it with your hands and, I like the programming, I like the fact that once I know it's running, it's set, it, it's not a worry. Mm -hmm. If you're doing more than one, it, once it's set, you put the job in, you press go, and that's it, you know you're going to get a complete part to a high spec, high standard, 
Whereas a manual, there's always that chance of getting it wrong on another part, even though you've just done one, yeah. you're still doing it yourself. So you, there's a chance of getting it wrong a second time. Whereas you eliminate the human error on a CNC, I think. Do you wish you'd have invested sooner? And I know it's not coming from your pocket, but as a, as a company, as a business? Yeah, most definitely. We're always pressuring Nick for new machines. <laughs> they make a massive difference in quality, the sheer speed of the quantity you can get from the machine. XYZ have ticked all the boxes for us. And what would you say to someone who maybe hasn't taken that leap of faith yet? Take the jump. It's definitely worth it, 100%. You'll not regret it. There you go, there from Clive himself. So if you are interested in investing in an XYZ machine or taking that leap from your manual machines to your CNC, then make sure you're getting in contact with XYZ.